Chris 6 News at noon continues. Well, good noon time, everybody. Uh, if you've been outdoors, you know it really feels like July because July begins this weekend, and so it's really going to be uh, warming up. Now it's okay if it warms up. Before, for May and June, that was a little bit unusual because we started with our summer very early, 87 right about now. We're obviously looking at the 90s this afternoon. Oh, my gosh. Can, uh, yeah, Sam, can you get it back? I hit the wrong button. Yeah, we're going to talk about your weather because the high temperature today looks like it'll top out at about 92. We do have the heat advisory in effect for all of the coastal band because of the combination of the heat and the humidity. Just remember, your body temperature is at 98.6, but if it starts getting to 103, 104, 105, that's when you get uh, a heat stroke and we want you to be cautious. I know some of you are going to have to do some gardening work over the weekend, but middle part of the day is not a good idea. So early in the morning or late at night, uh, as you can see, very few clouds over our area and no rain showers at all. Big stormy weather right here off the coast of Florida. It's eventually going to work its way back into our area, but not till next week. So next week we do see a kind of a return. In the meantime, high pressure is on top of us, and that's about all we're going to be dealing with. There's three storms out in the uh, Pacific. We don't have to worry about them. The uh, Caribbean is fairly quiet, except for this system, but that is not an easterly wave. We're going to watch for this stuff to actually cross back over the Gulf into our region, but that's not for next till next week. And right over the Atlantic, it's generally quiet, although some big storms came off the coast and left this moisture here. The problem is that the uh, Atlantic is not particularly warm, okay? The red is the warm area, you can see that there. But there's a little cool pocket right here, and that, if the storm comes in, would not allow it to actually get going. So if it stays down south, it's something we'll have to watch, but I'm not thinking that we've got any five to seven days to worry about any kind of tropical system. So for us, very few clouds. Yes, there'll be some storms out in the southwest, but not here. Now, as we get to next week, we'll start seeing that moisture roll back up into our area. And as we get into the 4th of July weekend, or no, middle of the week, that's what it is, uh, we will see a few little showers redevelop, but not for this weekend. So if you need to be outdoors, it's going to be relatively dry. Your seven-day forecast is brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. I shouldn't say dry, very humid, but no rain for Friday, Saturday, Sunday by Monday. Tuesday, we start seeing that moisture come back. Fourth of July, we should see a few little isolated showers, but I wouldn't worry about them. These are driven by afternoon heating, so once the sun goes down, they fall apart, and we should have no problem seeing the fireworks.